welcome again to another episode of tax training and today I will discuss to you how do the rates avoid paying taxes no so since marami silang pera so supposed to be diba mas marami kang pera mas marami kang income mas marami kang babayaran na tax so itong mga rich na to marami silang pera paano sila uh, nakaka-avoid ng pagbayad ng taxes no Here are some of the means, pero this is not all encompassing. Marami pang means ito. I will discuss to you only a few of this, kung anong ginagawa nila. Number one, they hire a tax expert. So, payment of taxes becomes an option. And then, bakit? Kasi option na lang. Dahil napakatalino ng mga tax experts nila, they can afford to pay. So, anong mangyayari? They can look for legal means in order na hindi sila makabayad ng taxes. No? And then, adapt complicated structures to avoid paying taxes. No? Establish ng mga conduit companies, shell companies, in order to avoid payment of taxes. And then, um, make use of the legal ways of avoiding taxes. Use tax avoidance instead of tax evasion kasi punishable po yung tax evasion. So, since itong may tax expert sila na hinahire, So, doon sila sa tax avoidance, which is the legal means. So, another is register in tax haven countries. Why register in tax haven countries? Because the, the tax haven countries has a very, very low tax rates and sometimes no tax at all. So, nakakatipid. Channel the income of other companies to companies registered in low tax countries. So, once na chinanel mo na, doon mo na pinadala yung income, naturally, hindi siya matatax sa country wherein higher yung tax rates. Establish tax exempt trust. So, ano itong mga tax exempt trust na ito? Ito yung allowed also na mga investment companies or trust funds na linalagay sa banko na hindi sila, nag-earn sila ng income pero hindi sila natatax. Kaya it's kasi nga tax exempt. Use different corporation as owner of trust funds. So para hindi matatax yung operating companies nila na nag-earn din ng income, gagawa sila ng ibang company wherein nadudoon sila yung owner ng trust fund. Earned income deposited to a different trust. Pero yung mga trust nila na iba-ibang klase yan, nag-earn niya ng income. So, hindi, they avoid payment of taxes. Avail of special purpose vehicle. Ano po itong mga special purpose vehicle na to? Ito yung mga uh, Republic Act, special laws, binibigay yung gobyerno sa atin na pagka in-avail mo yun, uh, magbabayad ka man ng taxes, maliit lang, o kaya uh, wala ka pang babayaran. No? So, may mga tax incentives po yan, yung special purpose vehicle. Number five, establish tax-exempt organization. Ano itong mga tax-exempt organization? Can be foundation, can be non-stock non-profit organizations, can be agricultural corporations or entities. No? Anong gagawin naman dito? Channel taxable income to tax-exempt entities. So, instead na taxable yung income, doon mo idaan, no? Ako talagang during may, may time na go-audit ako sa BR, talagang kitang-kita ko to, no? Na yung uh, income ng taxable entity, dinaan doon sa tax exempt entity. So, wala nang babayaran na tax. Instead na subject siya sa VAT, sa income, wala na, wala nang babayaran. No? Channel funds to tax exempt owned organization. Kasi kanila din eh. No? Ang dami dyan na malalaking companies, meron din silang mga non-stock non-profit organizations, mga foundations wherein doon nila tina-channel yung mga funds nila for uh, social responsibility. No? So, donate funds to charitable entities owned by the company. So, sila din yung nagdo-donate ng funds doon gagaling dito sa uh, company nila na nag-earn ng income. Or sometimes outsource, outsource research and development to tax exempt entity. No? So, nandudo na yung research and development. Pag na-develop na yung uh, project nila or whatever, saka pa nalang ibalik yan doon sa non-tax uh, exempt entity. No? Use dummies. No? So, ito pa yung isa na uh, ginagawa para hindi sila matas. Use dummies. Legal owner versus the beneficial owner. So, dito sa dummies, 
Ito yung mga legal owner na nakaregister sa ECC, nakaregister sa, sa government agencies, pero hindi sila yung beneficial owner. Yung funds, yung kita ng company, napupunta pa rin sa beneficial owner, hindi napupunta sa legal owner. Okay, so the business is registered using a different name or persons. And then the stockholders are in the names of different persons or individuals. Then split the income of the company, lower the income tax payment, and then sometimes same expenses claimed by different companies. So, in that way, ang laki na natitipid sa tax. Another uh, ways na ginagawa po ng mahinyaman para hindi sila makabayad ng tax is transfer pricing. Ano po itong transfer pricing? These are controlled transactions, no? So, since controlled siya, that is between the related uh, parties, and then there is an artificial price management. Why artificial price management? Because yung price ng isang company pwedeng tataasan, pwedeng babaan, para uh, malaki yung kita o liliit yung kita ng isang company, especially kung yung company na yan is uh, situated in a high tax country. So, pag high tax country yan, kailangan mababa yung income kasi mat mataas ang rate. So, anong gagawin? Lakihan mo yung cost. No? Pero doon naman sa uh, low tax countries, anong gagawin mo? Kahit malaki yung net income mo, wala siyang effect. Kahit hindi ka mag-claim ng maraming expenses, wala siyang effect dahil maliit lang din yung babayaran na tax. No? So, assign higher cost in companies situated in countries with higher taxes. No? Para liliit ang income, maliit lang yung babayaran na tax. Okay. Next is re-characterize business transactions. Ano yun? Hindi ito yung sinasabi na sa natin na substance over form, no? Iba yung talagang yung karakteristik ng uh, business, pero iba yung pinapalabas, no? So, mga example, sale to list, or example, sale of software and har hardware using different companies, no? Uh, or uh, yung sa licensing, no? So, because, uh, hindi nire-recognize yung totoong uh, transactions. Avail of tax incentives, no? So, ano ito mga tax incentives na to? Under EO226, Omnibus Investment Code. Under the BMB, itong micro, barangay micro business enterprise. The PESA, the economic zone, no? That pays only 5% preferential rate in lieu of taxes based on gross profit. So, napakaliit na lang. Ang pabayaran halos wala na. And then, cooperatives. Cooperatives are also doing business without the benefit of paying taxes, no? Kasi uh, allowed sila dahil may ibang purpose yung cooperatives. Non-recognition of intangibles, ang dami niyan dito sa Pilipinas, no? Hindi rin ni-recognize ang intangibles, you cannot find it in the balance sheet, no? So, ano tong mga uh, non-recognized na intangibles? These are sometimes embedded intangibles. Naka-embed na dun sa product. Yung, yung trademark, no? Pero wala kang makikita na may binabayaran na royalties on the use of the trademarks. Hard to value intangibles, no? Lalo na to, na mga hard to value intangibles, lalo hindi mo makikita sa balance sheet. Marketing intangibles, manufacturing intangibles, no? So, karamihan dyan hindi nire-recognize. But, it is a value driver and it is uh, malaki yung uh, contribution niyan sa company. At saka kung tutuusin mo, nandyan talaga uh, kumikita or yan talaga ang nagpapa takbo ng company, no? Yung mga intangibles na uh, pagbinalyo mo, napakalaking value. Hanggang ngayon, dispute pa yan yung uh, uh, valuation ng intangibles. Okay, next is the charging of personal expenses to business expenses. No? So, personal mo na, na, na expenses, pero nilagay mo na expenses ng company. So, Ano mangyayari? Benefited yung company. Bakit? Lower na lang yung babayaran niya ng tax. And what are the examples? This uh, fuel and oil. No? So, personal mo na. Yung pinuntahan mo is uh, hindi naman related sa business. Pero, chinars mo pa rin sa business. Depreciation, of course, kasi ginagamit mo yung sasakyan ng company. Sulat ng depreciation na doon sa company, pero personal mo siyang ginamit. Interest, ganun din ang nangutang yung company pero sinong gumamit? Yung may-ari, hindi naman ginamit sa business. Transportation, ganun din. Communication, utilities, repairs and maintenance. Lahat yan, 
personal na pakinabang pero sinacharge sa business. Transfer of funds, ang dami po niyan. No? Transfer for personal purpose, transfer of capital na pala. Pero ang makikita mo sa ano, kaya red alert ako during my audit eh. Bakit? Pag sinabi ng transfer of funds, for what purpose? No? Bakit ka nagta-transfer of funds? Baka mamaya, uh, capital na yan, indirect dividend na yan ang tinatransfer mo na funds. No? Business restructuring. Ito yung fully fleets manufacturing to contract manufacturing. Fully fleets distributor to commissioner or agent. No? Ang dami nitong example ng uh, business restructuring natin, just like location savings. No? Ano, at ano yung purpose ng business restructuring? To gain benefits. No? To have an economy of scale. Marami ang purpose ang uh, business restructuring. And we have some topics about that, especially in our video channel, the basic transfer pricing. And doon po yung mga discussions about that. And they are regulated by the OECD transfer pricing guidelines. And lalo-lalo uh, na itong business restructuring na halos karamihan ng transfer pricing issues ngayon ay nandiyan sa business restructuring. So these are the scheme or these are the strategies that the REITs are doing in order to avoid paying taxes. No? So with that, I would like to say thank you and have a good day.